Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we are going to see how we can able to add our Excel sheet data into ArcGIS Pro environment. So I'm having latitude, longitude, along with that I'm having this groundwater level data. So what we can able to do, we can able to prepare an IDW using this groundwater level data and we can able to prepare a groundwater level fluctuation map. So how to add this Excel sheet first that we're going to see. After that, we'll project this and then after that, we can able to prepare our groundwater level map. So for that, we need to save this file as a CSV file format. Just click on the file, save as, click on the folder where we are working. And I will add here as a CSV file format, comma delimited. So I will add here as a groundwater level CSV. Just click on the save. So we have saved this file in a CSV file format. If we'll go here, you can able to see this file. We just have a save and if we'll check the properties, you'll see .csv. So this file we need to open here. So for that, we just need to click on the map and add data option is there. So from here, we can able to add our X and Y point data. So just click on the X and Y point data. So after this, we just need to provide our input table. So input table is same as our CSV file. So just click here. And we need to browse a folder where we have saved our CSV file. So let will go to the folder. So here I have saved the CSV file, just select it, groundwater level CSV file, and just click on the OK. So after that output location means where I want to save this file. So just click here and I will save in the same folder as a groundwater level. Just click on the save and in the X, we need to select our longitude and Y, we need to select as a latitude. So here, whatever the name you will provide, it will show there. Okay. And in the Z, we can take any value. So like here, I will take for the April month for the calculating the groundwater level. In the Z, there might be any value. Elevation will be there in your case or whatever the value will be there in Z. So we can add that. So these two things are important lat long and Z you can able to add any value here. So after that, most important thing is that we need to provide a coordinate reference system. So this reference system, I will select as a WGS 1984 and just click on the run options. As I will click on the run options, automatically whatever the Excel data is there, that will convert into point shape file here. Okay. So now you can able to see what are the data we have selected in the Excel sheet. We converted into point shape file. But this is now in CSV file format. We can convert this CSV file format. We can convert this CSV file format into shape file format. So just right click data and export feature. So the same file it will show here and output location is where I want to save. So we'll choose the same folder groundwater shape file. So just click on the save and just click on the OK. So this way very easily we can able to add our groundwater level data or any data which is having latitude, longitude and Z value. We can able to add this. I'm interested to do here IDW. Okay. So this shape file if you'll see, if I'll click on open attribute table, you will see I'm having this data pre monsoon and post monsoon data. Using this data, we can able to prepare groundwater level map. Okay. So for that, we just need to create a shape file for study area. So how to create a shape file for that, I have already uploaded a video. If you miss this video, you can just watch how to create a shape file and what is the projection system. Okay. So just, I will go to catalog and here I will select computer. I will go to the desired location where I want to create a shape file. So I'm working in the same folder. So I will add a same folder, select the same folder here. So here I will just right click new 
and shape file option is there. So folder is already selected. I will add here as a study area and polygon I will select because I'm interested to create a polygon here. And after that, most important thing is that you need to provide a projected coordinate system. What are the projection we are working here? So I'm working here as a UTM zone 43. So we'll select here as a UTM zone 43. Just click on the OK and just click on the run. So the study area is created here, shape file. Just click on the edit and create option is there. Click on the study area and take polygon from here. And we can draw a polygon here. So I'm drawing a love, roughly polygon. If you are having your study area shape file, then you did not need to create a shape file. In your case, study area shape file you can able to use. So just after that, save here. And if you want to clear selection, just click on the clear selection. So my study area is created and this shape file is there. If we'll check the properties of this groundwater shape file, whatever the shape file we have created in the source, in special reference, it is in WGS 1984. So we can project this. So this file is a projected our study area. And we have provided a 43. So same 43 UTM zone will provide to this shape file as well. Here you can able to go to processing tool toolbox and there is an option that is a data management tool. In the data management tool, there is a projection and transformation and project option is there. So input data set is this my groundwater shape file that is having a pre-monsoon post-monsoon data set. And after that, I will provide here and save here as a PRJ then groundwater shape file. Just click on this save. And here we'll provide a UTM zone 40 project coordinate system, UTM zone WS1984, Northern Hemisphere, and select same as a 43 UTM zone. Just click on the OK and just click on the run. So now it is projected. So this file, if I don't want, I can just select it and remove from here. So my both file is now projected. And now we can able to use IDW here. Just go back from here. There is a special analysis tool. In the special analysis tool, there is interpolation and IDW. In the IDW, we need to select this PRJ file, same as our projected groundwater shape file. And in the Z, for which period you want to prepare this IDW that you need to select here. So I'm interested to do for the April, so I'll select April here. And after that, I will provide output location as an IDW. Just click on the save. And important thing is that we need to go to environment and we need to set environment as the same as this, whatever the study area we have created. Before that, we need to provide output coordinate system is the same as projected coordinate system, UTM, WS1984, Northern Hemisphere, and UTM zone 43. You can able to add this as a favorite. Just click on the OK. Then processing extent, I will select as the same as the study area. And here we can able to change the cell size from 30 and just click on the run option. So now you can able to see we have prepared. We can able to add mask option is there. Okay. In the environment, there is a mask option is there this mask if we'll add the mask option then it will cut similarly as our study area okay so let will do for the another month so here i will select as a august okay i will add here as a idw august 2 and cell size is the same then here i will use as a mask as my study area 
and processing extent we have selected and just click on the run option. So now if you'll see this file, we have prepared same as our study area. Okay. So now you can able to see the difference between both the month file. Okay. So this way very easily we can able to prepare pre-monsoon and post-monsoon groundwater level fluctuation map. If you want to know what is IDW, how it is work, then you can able to see the IDW and just click here. We'll get the more information about the IDW, how it is work. So interpolation, inverse distance weightage. So IDW stands for inverse distance weightage. And if you'll see here, if you want to calculate the unknown value from the known value, so we are having some known data. From the known data, we can able to calculate the unknown data value. So here, same thing we have did. We are having some known point. Okay. From the known point, we have calculated the unknown point value as well. So we call it as IDW or inverse distance weightage. So this is an interpolation technique. So it is very easy. We have learned how we can able to add this Excel sheet data into ArcGIS Pro environment and after that to prepare an IDW. If you are having any doubt, you can just ask me in the comment sections. If you like this video, you can share with your friends. Thank you.